Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime at the Copacabana! Time for ice dancing. Last night in the original dance, the world champions Anna Cena and Pesera remained in first, even though they got out of sync. And as a result, they had some competition right on their heels. In second place, the Israeli team of Chait and Saknovsky. In fourth, the Ukrainians, Grushina and Goncharov. The surprise was the third place team from Canada, Dubray and Luzon. They find themselves now with a chance to medal. Welcome back to Lifetime's coverage of Skate Canada. Time now for the ice dance competition. Here's Terry Gannon and Susie Wynn. All right, Andrea, thank you very much. The gold medal about to be decided in ice dance just moments from now. With me, the two-time U.S. ice dance champion, Susie Wynn. Susie, the focus, as always, on the reigning world champions from France, Anna Cena and Pesera. They're in first place, but how have they skated so far? Well, Terry, they really started off a little bit rough. They had a stumble in the original dance, not at all what you'd expect from the world champions. But in typical ice dance judging fashion, they're protected mm. in that first place. So you may not see any changes between one and two. The real battle here is for the bronze. Watch for the Canadians, Debray and Lausanne. They look so strong. If they take bronze here, it would be their first medal in a Grand Prix Series event. So the free dance about to get underway. The standings right now. Anasina and Pezera with the lead over a fast-moving team representing Israel. Then the battle for third place. Dubray and Lausanne from Canada. Can they hold on to stand on the podium? They'll take the ice last tonight. Our next competitors representing Israel, Gali Chik and Senator Sajnowski. Here is the team that did what they say can't be done in ice dance. Last season, they jumped from 13th at the World Championships in 99 to 5th in Nice. Movement like that doesn't happen very often in this sport. Galit Chait and Sergei Saknovsky representing Israel in second place right behind the world champs after the original dance. They're skating to variations on a theme of Paganini, arranged by Andrew Lloyd Webber. started a free dance and midway through they didn't feel great about it so Tarasova their coach and choreographer brought this music to them and they studied the story of Paganini and really felt passionate about changing the program and they really studied it they both read the auto or the biography of Paganini and got into the character trying to bring that to the ice a rotational lift it's one of the specified lifts has to rotate five times.
extraordinary strength during their lifts. Nice choreography. This is how they're bridging their elements. Mm -hmm. They represent Israel, but they live in Newington, Connecticut. Coached by Tatiana Tarasova, as you mentioned, Susie. Galit was born in Israel, grew up in the U.S. Sergei, originally from Moscow, lived in Israel for a short period of time and then came to the U.S. and they teamed up. They really make these lifts look very easy. They get great flow going into the lift and on the exit of them. This is their circular footwork pattern. There are two required footwork sequences. The judges are looking to see how close they're holding on. These are called dance holds, closed dance holds. Notice here he's holding her with just one arm. Yet another great performance from these two. What I like about them is they have tremendous energy. And obviously the judges really like what they see. They've exploded up the ladder. What a move they made last season and continuing that in second place so far here in Canada, right behind the world champs, Galit Chait and Sergei Saknovsky. Again, one of their strengths, the lifts. They really work well together here in the rotational lift. Just a very nice, pleasant position. They really get a lot of acceleration before the exit. Nice partnering. And this is how well they bridge the elements. This is a dance spin. She's staying in one spot, and they take it right into a lift. That's a great way to bridge the choreography and the required elements. It's gotten crowded in the kiss and cry area, hasn't it? <laughs> Tatiana Tarasova in back. Nikolai Morozov, their other coach alongside. The first set now for technical merit, 5.5 to 5.7. Well, it's nice to see that one of their highest marks is from the French judge. So that's, that's enlightening. French world champions coming up in a bit. Presentation marks 5.6 up to 5.8. Another good performance for Chait and Sagnovsky of Israel. Still to come, the reigning world champions from France, Marina Anasina and Gwendal Pezera. They'll debut their new free dance here on Lifetime. Welcome back to Skate Canada. A reminder, the ISU Grand Prix of Figure Skating continues in two weeks. We'll be in Gelsenkirchen, Germany for Nations Cup. The short program's Monday, November 27th on ESPN. Pairs and dance finals right here on Lifetime Sports two weeks from tonight. And the men's and ladies final Sunday, December 3rd, 4 o'clock Eastern time on ABC Sports. The reigning world champions now taking the ice. Marina Anasina and Gwendal Pezera. They won their title in their home country in the city of Nice last season. Now they debut their new free dance. The music Beethoven's last night by the Trans-Siberian Orchestra.
Terry, this year I just get the feeling that they're questioning their choices with the music. They haven't been as forthcoming with us about what they're skating to, the theme. They've been a little bit phased, you know, a little fuzzy on mm -hmm. that. Last year they skated to Kamina Burana. It was so powerful, the music, the way they skated to it. And so far this season, even in the way they have talked to the media, they've been very confident, yet a lot of people have read some insecurity into that. I agree. Last year they just had a plan. They worked with Christopher Dean. He was there the whole time making sure the program was developed. This year they worked with many different people, including Christopher Dean, but I just think they need to get on a stronger path to make this program work. It'll be interesting to see how this program develops throughout the season, heading up to eventually the World Championships. Anna Cena Hazara of France. One thing that they're very good at is this roll reversal here. Watch this balance move. She's very strong. And that's just a good relationship between them. Their lifts, although I thought the lifts that when he was lifting her looked labored. Watch here in the twizzle sequence. They're turning together. Their unison isn't quite on, and that's important. Twizzle is just a fun way of saying, I'm turning on one foot. <laughs> <laughs> now the marks, the first set, 5.6, the rest 5.7s, and the one 5.6 is from the judge from Israel. <laughs> the team in second place now, or at least after the original dance you would expect now as well. Now presentation marks 5.7 to 5.9. We just didn't see the confidence that where we left off with them last year at the World Championships, they were on fire, and I'm not seeing that. It's early in the season, but they've got a long way to go. But they do take the lead. And the free dance from Skate Canada continues here on Lifetime Sports right after this. The free dance continues. Anasina and Pezera now wait and watch with the rest of us. Successful debut of their free dance, but it didn't have the impact of a year ago. Yelena Grishina, Ruslan Goncharov of Ukraine now on the ice in fourth after the original dance. And remember the battle for third place. The Canadians, Dubre and Lausanne, are in third. But this is the team that was in third after the compulsories. We saw some movement. They dropped to fourth. Gladiator. Same music in a similar costume to that of Alexei Yagudin, three-time world champion. A very difficult lift because many changes of position which can impact the speed. They really keep up the flow quite nicely. First international medal last year at Skate Canada. The same thing the Canadians are now trying to do. And it would signal a great change in ice dance because this team finished seventh at the Worlds last season. Dubray and Lausanne finished tenth. Trying to overtake them now.
in. A lot of people use posing as a rest spot, but this is a, if this is to be taken seriously as a sport, you've got to keep moving. Keep skating, showing that you have that ability. Rotational lift. A little stumbly on the end. Those get, once those get going, boy, they're sometimes hard to land. Losing a little bit of speed. They certainly are a talented couple. I, I just, everybody seems to be skating to these dark themes. And I'm not sure they buy it. It's a little put on, a little forced. A lot of acting going on? A lot of acting. Team that's been on the move, though. 13th to 8th to 7th. The last three world championships from Ukraine. Yelena Grushina, Ruslan Goncharov. And one of the requirements is to have two to three dance spins in a side-by-side -side position. Just looking for good balance between the skaters and a nice centering. This is one of the nicer elements in their program. And here in the rotational lift, they get it going very nicely, a very stretched out position, but it's very hard to have that momentum and then trying to come out and run out that edge. A little stumbly there. Alongside one of their coaches now, Gennady Karpinosov, he and Natalia Linichuk, the 1980 Olympic ice dance champions. First set, 5.3 to 5.5. You know, they didn't make any glaring errors, but they just were a little sloppy in their transitions and in the footwork. And now the marks for presentation. So Grushina and Goncharov into third place for the moment. But here's the team trying to bump them off the podium. From Canada, Marie-France Dubray and Patrice Lozon, 10th at the World Championships last year. Remember, the Ukrainians were in seventh, so this would be a big step up for them to capture a medal here. Their music is from the motion picture soundtrack, Titus. The composer, E. Goldenthal. Very innovative. but they're, they aren't. They're constantly changing positions. Their circular footwork. Nice strong danceman. He's in a low position, showing strength.
back to the hand-in-hand -hand position, which is considered much easier than a dance hold. You can skate a little further apart. But the innovation stands within their lifts and their highlight moves. Train. They look ready to take on the Ukrainians. They've been so impressive here at Skate Canada. Earlier in the week, one of the judges put them in first place, not only ahead of the Ukrainians, but ahead of the team from Israel and the world champions. Right now, just trying to grab that third place and stand on the podium. Marie Fonce Dubray and Patrice Lazan. You just have to love their highlight elements. Look at this dance spin, the leg line. See how low he is? That takes a lot of strength and to keep her balance too. There's two responsibilities he's ha he has there. They work so well together. And you just have to love their lifts. Each lift was so different and very complicated. She's nice and high. This is a great balance move. A lot of relationship there that needs to be secure. Very good. Now, Susie, do you think it was good enough to capture third place? I do. I think they looked trained, they looked ready, and they had a lot of difficulty. There's the first set, 5.3 to 5.5. The crowd wanted better marks. Awaiting the presentation marks now. There they are, 5.5 to 5.7. Good enough to put Debray and Lazan into third. And the U.S. judge wanted them second. I have to agree. So the Canadians capture the bronze medal. Right now, though, Peter Carruthers is standing by with the world champions. Peter. Now, Marina and Glendale, you've made a trademark where you lift your partner. Yeah. Everybody looks forward to that. Do you have to do some weight training to lift him? No, I, I don't have special ex exercise. It's just uh, technique. We know how to do it and we try to find uh, every year different lift. We never repeat the same lift. So with speeds, it's not so hard. It's, it's all a question of, of technique, balance and timing. Balance and technique. Well, congratulations. Thank nice you. performance. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Peter, thank you very much. Anasina and Pez Ross start this season like they ended the last with a gold medal. The team's still on the move, finishing second, capturing the silver medal, Chait and Saknovsky, and Dubray and Lausanne thrilled to capture the bronze medal. Let's go back down and join Peter once again with a very happy Canadian couple. Well, I'd say some congratulations are in order. Your first Grand Prix medal, and you did that right here in your home country. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, we skated well all week. Uh, the crowd really got into our OD and our free dance, and uh, we're very pleased. And somewhat of an upset, too. Last year at the World Championships, you were 10th, and you beat the 7th place team. How does that place you now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We, uh, we're trying not to look too much at the, the result and the placing. We're trying just to do our job. And that was the first time that we got to do a program in front of people and uh, it's great to see the reaction. Well, congratulations and continued success. Skate Canada will continue after this. As Jamie Saleh and David Peltier receive their gold medals, we say so long from Canada. For Terry Gannon, Peter Carruthers and Susie Wynn, I'm Andrea Joyce. We'll see you in two weeks for Nations Cup.